Hello everyone. So this video is about the classification of lipid and it's the part two and we'll focus on the compound lipids. So without any delay, let's start the video. So this is the basic chart and here the compound lipids will be covered. So this compound lipid is divided into phospholipids and glycolipids and these phospholipids they include phosphoglycerides which include the lecithins, cephalins and plasmosomes. Then another category is the phosphoenocytides and then phosphosphingocytes while the glycolipids they include cerebrocytes, ganglioocytes and sulfolipids. So first of all what are compound lipids? So compound lipids they are the ester of fatty acid with alcohol and they also bear some additional group like they may have the phosphate group, sulfate group etc. So they have the fatty acids which are esterified with the alcohol and they also possess some additional functional group. So here the first category is the phospholipid or phosphatids. So as the name indicate they contain the phosphorus group means in addition to the fatty acid and glycerol molecule they also contain the phosphoric acid group like here you can clearly see this is the uh, you can see the structure of typical phospholipid here this glycerol molecule is attached at the first position and second position with the fatty acid while at the third carbon the phosphoric acid has been attached with this glycerol molecule first phosphoglycerides so within the phospholipids there are further categories so first is phosphoglycerides so here they include lecithins cephalins and plasmosin so first is the lecithin. So they are widely distributed in the nature. Various oils like soybean is they contain the lecithin. So if the structure is concerned, so they contain glycerol and the two molecule of fatty acid and the phosphoric acid because they are the phospholipids. But this in the lecithin case, this phosphoric acid is further attached with a choline molecule. So when the glycerol and phosphoric acid is attached with the choline that is known as the lecithins. The second cephalins they are very closely related to lecithins but the main difference is that here this phosphoric acid is attached with the ethylenoamine or it may also attach with the serine. So if it is attached with the ethylenoamine, so called as phosphatidyl ethylenoamine and in case of serine it is called as phosphatidyl serine. So basic difference from lecithin is that here the phosphoric acid is attached with either ethylenoamine or with serine molecule. The next plasmosome they are also related with the cephalins but the main difference is that here one of the fatty acid is replaced by the unsaturated ether as you can clearly see which is marked here in the red circle so here this fatty acid is esterified or you can say it is replaced by the unsaturated uh, ether and the rest of the molecule they remain same like it may either have the choline and the plasmogen may either have the ethylenoamine as in case of the cephalins and they may also have the serine the main difference is that the first fatty acid is replaced with the ether now next category is the phosphoenocytides. So here, this is the structure of phosphoenocytides. So you can clearly see here the phosphoric acid is now attached with the inositol. The next category is the phosphosphingocytes or sphingomyelin. So these type of phospholipids, they do not have glycerol molecule. Instead of glycerol molecule, they may have this sphingosine molecule or dihydrosphingosine molecules and if you go into the structure of this sphingomyelin so this is the basic structure of sphingomyelin where this sphingosine molecule is attached with the fatty acid and it is it also has the phosphoric acid group and which is attached with the choline so this is the structure of sphingomyelin Next glycolipids. So here again the name indicate this is the second category of compound lipids after the phospholipid. So the glycolipid means glyco means carbohydrates. So they contain the carbohydrate molecule in their structure. So these are further of following type like cerebrocytes. So they contain fatty acid 
sphingosine and which may either have a glucose or galactosolide you can see here here the sphingosine molecule is attached with the fatty acid and this molecule is further attached with the galactose so here the galactose is the carbohydrate molecule next is a gangliocyte so as the name indicate these are present in the ganglion of the nerve cells and they contain the ceramide molecule which is linked to carbohydrate like this is the structure of gangliocyte here the ceramide is attached with either with the glucose or galactose so these are the three gangliocytes which may either have the different linkage with the glucose or you can say the carbohydrate molecules the next sulfolipids so here again the name indicate here the additional group is the sulfur group so if you look into the structure this is the basic structure of sulfur lipid where the glycerol is attached with the two fatty acid and the third carbon is attached with this you can say this hexose molecule having sulfonic group so this is all about the compound lipids the various types of compound lipid so see you in the next video guys till then take care and thank you very much